Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about variations and how important it is for you to learn how to run variations checks and also how to read the data once you do run that variations check. I will go through examples of a couple examples of variations within the grocery category, backpacks, and also a makeup example of different types of variations that you're going to see out in the wild when you're out there sourcing, whether it's RA or online. So in this video, I am going to show you guys how to run a variations check and then how to pull the data from that variations check so you guys can maximize that data and use it to its fullest extent. And I will show you guys how to do that in a little bit, so stay tuned. What are variations? So basically what it is, is when you scan a product or when you are online sourcing, you go to the product listing. So in this case, it's going to be this elite basketball backpack. Variations just means that there's different colors, sizes, or even styles of the same item. So in this case, it's the backpack. In this listing, there is this blue variation as well as black, different styles, and even different sizes. So let's go back to the original one. This one listing holds all of of these products. I wanted to show you how you can actually spot variations when you are outsourcing or out scanning or doing online arbitrage. The quickest and fastest way is to look under your alert section. You will see a V for variations and if you click on it or hover above it, um, it will let you know how many variations are on that listing. For example, this shirt has 75 different variations. The second place that you can find it is under alerts on your alert section. If you have that panel turned on, you'll be able to see the variations and if so, how many variations are on that listing. And the third place that you can verify that there are variations on the listing, it's obviously on the variations panel and here is where you run your check as well. And let me show you a different example. Okay, so this is another example of a variation within the grocery category. So these are Skittles. This one's gonna look a little bit different. This one has different flavors as well as different sizes that you can pick from off of this one listing. I'm gonna show you this one other makeup listing and it's the same thing, you know, you get the gist of it. There is multiple variations within one listing. So they're all the same size, just different colors, different shades. Well, now that you know what a variation listing is and what they look like, let's run a variations check. Let's do it with this Nike Elite basketball backpack. You want to have seller amp pulled up either on the phone in the store while you're outsourcing or if you are doing OA like we are right now then you can use the seller amps chrome extension like we are right now. So I'm going to pull it up on the full screen so I can show you guys better on how to run a variations check. Let's go down and hit variations here. Let's just run a check and that's how you run a check. It's as simple as that. My backpack that I bought recently is the navy blue one. This sells 16% of the time based off of the estimated sales. So now let's do math. Let's calculate how much this blue backpack sells in comparison to the rest of the variations on this listing. Let's pull up a calculator and we're going to do 124 based on the estimated sales per month. So you want to multiply it by 0.16. So this is going to give you the estimated number of sales for the navy blue backpack per month. So roughly around 20 backpacks per month are being sold in the navy blue color. All right guys. So I wanted to give you guys a second example on how to calculate the estimated sales per variation again, just so I could be a little bit more clear this time. I pulled up this listing. It's an Adidas Women's Grand Court tennis shoe. Just looks like any other variation listing. They have a ton of shoes. They have different colors of shoes on this listing, plus several sizes. Let's say you scan this one or you're doing research on this particular shoe. The color black and size 7 and you see that it's selling 5723 times per month and it's on a variation listing this specific variation has 233 variations there's 233 products that are being sold on this listing right now. And if you want to know specifically how many sales per month this shoe has, you can go down to the estimated monthly sold, or you can also go down and do the variation check because some listings don't have the estimated monthly sold. So it's also good for you to know how to do this calculation. So we go down to the variation section, hit the check and let it do its thing. The 
shoe that I am researching right now is one of the top sellers of this variation. It gets 11% of the total sales from the estimated monthly sold based on the number of reviews it has. If we pull up the calculator, we are going to get the monthly estimated sold that you could see right here. So it's 5,729 and we multiply that by the percentage of reviews that it has. So multiply by 0.11 and this is gonna give you an estimated total monthly sold of this shoe so the color black size 7 based on the variation calculation it is estimated that this specific variation on this listing sells roughly around 630 times per month which if you come up here to the chart section comes pretty in line 700 plus recently it's 600 plus with that calculation and lastly, I want to explain what kind of data you can get from running a simple variation check. So let's say you're in the store or you're sourcing online or whatever it may be, and you come across these backpacks, you scan them, they look good, you run the variation check, but you notice that the navy blue backpack, let me, let me go up, you notice that the navy blue backpack isn't selling as much as you would like. But now that you ran that one variations check, now you know if you have the whole wall full of backpacks or there's multiple colors, different sizes, or whatever it may be, now you know what to look out for. So now you know that you need to look out for this one. The all black one sells better on this listing than the blue one. So now you know what to look out for. Let's say they're all lined up and now you know that that backpack is good. So you're just gonna grab it instead of spending more time scanning all the backpacks on the wall when you know these are the ones that I need to look out for and these are the ones that I need to grab because I already have that information. I already ran that variations check. That is how I, that's how I use the variation section of Celeramp to my advantage. It helps me cut time when I'm sourcing. It helps me focus my energy, things that I know are selling good on a certain variation or in a certain listing. This variation data is also very helpful when you're looking at shoes. Uh, you scan one listing or one pair of shoes in size 12, but you can see that the size 9, 10s, and 11s are selling better when you run that variation check. So those are the ones you're gonna pull and throw in your cart. You don't even have to scan them. That's my rant with the variations check future Tanya here again. I wanted to show you guys specifically if I wasn't clear enough in the video that once you run a variations check you can click on any one of these variations and it will pull up that listing on Celeramp. And even if you didn't run the variations check, if there are variations on there, you just go down to the variation section and without running the check at all, you would also be able to click on them as well. All right, guys. So I wanted to keep this video short and sweet, and I hope I did just that for you guys. Um, I hope you guys learned a little bit about how to use the variations check on Celeramp and how to pull data from that rather than just simply running the check and then scanning the next thing. You do get a lot of valuable data using the variation section of Celeramp. And if you learned anything or if you found this video helpful, subscribe to the channel for more Amazon reselling tips. And like always, guys, keep on scanning and happy hunting.